Hello and welcome to my video. In this presentation, I will be introducing the corresponding notion of an affine space in a homogeneous system. We all know that basically the solution space of a homogeneous system is a vector space that is translated by a constant vector. An check space is called an affine space. So in this section, we will be going to introduce the correlation between the vector spaces and affine spaces. So this section is called affine spaces. Let's start with the definition. As usual, we start with a vector space. Let V be a vector space. A subset of a vector space is called an affine space if it can be represented as a translation of some linear subspaces. So, a subset S um, in, of V is called an affine subspace of V if there is a linear space U in V or of V and a vector S in capital S such that S is equal to S plus U equals the set of S plus U so, uh, where, uh, wherein U is an element of capital U. We mean by that set is that the set S U, S plus U, where U is in the capital of U. So we translate each single vector of that linear space U by the constant vector S and we arrive to a subset as a capital S. That is an affine subspace. A few conventions to make notation easier in the future. Um, the empty set will also be regarded as an affine space. And we also define the dimension of an affine space as the dimension of the corresponding linear subspaces. So for an affine space S, capital S is equal to S plus capital U, where capital U um, is a linear subspace V of V. We define the dimension S or dimension of S is just equal to the dimension of U. So, as I've said, by convention, um, the empty set is just regarded as an affine set subspace with dimension um, with dimension of that empty set is just equal to negative 1. It's because the dimension of a single point is an affine space and the translation of the zero subspace is consisting only the zero vector space. And so the one with, um, with, with a zero vector space or regarded as an affine, affine space has a less than dimension um, than that, that given zero um, dimension. So an affine subspace of dimension zero is actually called point. And also an affine subspace of dimension one is also called a line. So an, an affine subspace of a vector space V of dimension um, V minus 1 is just called hyperplane. So once again, these are actually basic definitions of an affine subspace with dimension 0 being called as a point, dimension 1 being called as a line, and a dimension V minus 1 being called as a hyperplane. Let us look at some examples before we generalize the linear combination which is we look at the um, affine subspaces. But by the way, um, we have the generalization here that um, affine subspace is just equal to linear space plus the translation. So now, given an example, we look at the affine subspaces of R2. So, of course, the simplest case are the points that is only one linear subspace, right? So, so far, 2 of dimension 0, and that is the trivial subspace that is only contains the 0 vector. 
and so that is um, dimension zero is equal to the set of zero plus the s which is just equal to the set of s for all s in r2 um, let's have a quick illustration of um, this so if you can see in a given figure we do have s as our vector here and that s is our dimension so we do have uh, the dimension of zero which is the 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 given set of s okay so for dimension two of course the only um linear subspace of dimension two is r2 itself on the other hand the dimension of um the dimension one is a bit interesting because the linear subspace of dimension one um haven't um expanded and so we, we do have this dimension one as linear subspaces of dimension one which are lines through the origin so um, in continuation we have affine subspaces of dimension one are just lines in r2 through any point um hyperplane in r2 so this is actually based on a definition of what we had previously in the previous slide and now to come up with a generalization with linear combination to generate affine subspaces um, for a given set of points generate the smallest or, or i mean for a given set of points generate the smallest affine subspace that contains all of these points we call that one as affine hull and that affine hull will be discussed um, in a bit So if you can see here, um, let's assume S to be equal to S plus the capital U, which is an affine subspace, and V sub 1 and V sub 2, which are in capital S, there are U sub 1 um, and U until U sub K with V sub 1 equals S plus U sub 1 V sub K equal to S plus U sub K. So we take arbitrarily the uh, phi of 1 and phi of k and consider the linear combination of phi 1 um, mu 1 plus um, mu, um, phi 2 mu 2 plus phi 3 mu 3 and so on until phi k phi sub k mu sub k which are just um, in the capital U. So we all know that based from the given definition and assumption we do have mu um, sub 1 which is equal to v sub 1 just minus the s sub 1 um, and then we do have v sub 2 minus s sub 2 v sub 3 minus s sub 3 and so on until such time that we reach u sub k mu sub k which is just equal to v sub k minus s sub k and hence we do have here um, our s sub 1 a v sub 1 mu sub 1 plus mu sub 2 um, phi sub 2 and so on until such time we reach phi sub k and mu sub k we do have it um, equivalently equal to the phi sub 1 times the quantity of v sub 1 minus s sub 1 plus we do have um, all these elements there until such we reach the value of phi sub k times the quantity of v sub k minus s sub k and hence, therefore, we do have phi sub 1, v sub 1, plus phi sub 2, v sub 2, phi sub 3, v sub 3, and so on, until such time we reach phi sub k, v sub k, plus s times the quantity of negative phi sub 1, minus um, phi sub 2, minus phi sub 3, until minus phi sub k, wherein this actually um, entire set is just in u. So, Simplifying further, we do have, uh, no, um, we are using vector scale, so scalar, so what if we will be adding S from that given entire um, quantity or entire expression, we do have S plus that quantity, so if you, we will be simplifying that, that just give us the phi sub 1, V sub 1, plus uh, the quantity V sub 2, uh, V sub 2, V sub 2, 
until such time we reach a uh, v, v sub k v sub k plus s times the quantity of 1 minus v sub 1 minus v sub 2 minus v sub 3 until such time we reach uh, uh, minus v sub k and we all know that this given um, quantity is just in capital S and lastly we do have v sub 1 and v sub 1 plus v sub 2 v sub 2 plus v sub 3 v sub 3 plus so on until such time we reach v sub k v sub k which is just in um, capital S if the summation of um, v sub i from i equals 1 to k is just equal to 1. Hence, finally, we will now define an affine combination and more about this will be discussed by Mam Armenia. So, let V be the vector space V sub 1 and V sub k element of that capital V and the V sub 1 and V sub k element of the real number or the R with the summation of uh, um, v, v sub i from i equals 1 until k which is equal to 1. Then, we do have the summation of that um, V sub i, V sub i from i equals 1 to k. We, we just call this one as an affine combination of v sub, uh, uh, v sub 1 to V sub k or minus V sub k. Hence, the set of all finite affine combination of elements of a set M um, of V is called an affine hull of M which was mentioned previously. And given that the affine of M, which is equal to V, element of V, there exists K, element of N, wherein we do have V sub 1, V sub K, element of capital V, and the V sub 1 and V sub K um, are just element of the R, and with the given summation of um, V sub 1 or V sub I, from I equals 1 to K is just equal to 1, such that V is that just equal to the summation of the V sub I, V I, from I equals 1 until K. And so, by convention, so this will be the end of my presentation, that the affine of an empty set is just the set of zero vector. And some more of this affine combination will be tackled by, by Mam Armenia. So that would be all for now. Thank you so much for listening and see you next time. Mm -hmm.